Hello everyone. Let's learn English. Are you ready? Learn English through a short story. To love and to be loved. To love and to be loved. Once upon a time, a very poor man lived with his wife. Once upon a time, a very poor man lived with his wife. Once upon a time, a very poor man lived with his wife. One day, his wife, who had very long hair, asked him to buy her a comb for her hair to grow well and to be well groomed. One day, his wife, who had very long hair, asked him to buy her a comb for her hair to grow well and to be well groomed. One day, his wife, who had very long hair asked him to buy her a comb for her hair to grow well and to be well groomed. The man felt very sorry and said no. He explained that he did not even have enough money to fix the strap of his watch he had just broken. The man felt very sorry and said no. He explained that he did not even have enough money to fix the strap of his watch he had just broken. The man felt very sorry and said no. He explained that he did not even have enough money to fix the strap of his watch he had just broken. She did not insist on her request. She did not insist on her request. She did not insist on her request. The man went to work and passed by a watch shop, sold his damaged watch at a low price and went to buy a comb for his wife. The man went to work and passed by a watch shop, sold his damaged watch at a low price and went to buy a comb for his wife. The man went to work and passed by a watch shop, sold his damaged watch at a low price and went to buy a comb for his wife. He came home in the evening with the comb in his hand ready to give to his wife. He came home in the evening with the comb in his hand ready to give to his wife. He came home in the evening with the comb in his hand ready to give to his wife. He was surprised when he saw his wife with a very short haircut. She had sold her hair and was holding a new watch band. He was surprised when he saw his wife with a very short haircut. She had sold her hair and was holding a new watch band. He was surprised when he saw his wife with a very short haircut. She had sold her hair and was holding a new watch band. Tears flowed simultaneously from their eyes, not for the futility of their actions, but for the reciprocity of their love. Tears flowed simultaneously from their eyes not for the futility of their actions, but for the reciprocity of their love. Tears flowed simultaneously from their eyes, not for the futility of their actions, but for the reciprocity of their love. Moral of the Story 
To love is nothing. To be loved is something. But to love and to be loved by the one you love, that is everything. To love is nothing. To be loved is something. But to love and to be loved by the one you love, that is everything. To love is nothing. To be loved is something. But to love and to be loved by the one you love, that is everything. The mother and the wolf. The mother and the wolf. Early one morning a hungry wolf was prowling around a cottage at the edge of a village when he heard a child crying in the house. Early one morning a hungry wolf was prowling around a cottage at the edge of a village when he heard a child crying in the house. Early one morning a hungry wolf was prowling around a cottage at the edge of a village when he heard a child crying in the house. Then he heard the mother's voice say, Hush, child, hush, stop your crying, or I will give you to the wolf. Then he heard the mother's voice say, Hush, Child, hush, stop your crying, or I will give you to the wolf. Then he heard the mother's voice say, Hush, child, hush, stop your crying, or I will give you to the wolf. Surprised but delighted at the prospect of so delicious a meal, the wolf settled down under an open window, expecting every moment to have the child handed out to him. Surprised but delighted at the prospect of so delicious a meal, the wolf settled down under an open window, expecting every moment to have the child handed out to him. Surprised but delighted at the prospect of so delicious a meal, the wolf settled down under an open window, expecting every moment to have the child handed out to him. But though the little one continued to fret, the wolf waited all day in vain. But though the little one continued to fret, the wolf waited all day in vain. But though the little one continued to fret, the wolf waited all day in vain. Then, toward nightfall, he heard the mother's voice again as she sat down near the window to sing and rock her baby to sleep. Then, Toward nightfall, he heard the mother's voice again as she sat down near the window to sing and rock her baby to sleep. Then, toward nightfall, he heard the mother's voice again as she sat down near the window to sing and rock her baby to sleep. There, child, there. The wolf shall not get you. No, no, daddy is watching and daddy will kill him, if he should come near. There, child, there. The wolf shall not get you. No, no, daddy is watching and daddy will kill him, if he should come near. There, child, there. The wolf shall not get you. No, no, daddy is watching and daddy will kill him, if he should come near. Just then the father came within sight of the home, and the wolf was barely able to save himself from the dogs by a clever bit of running. Just then the father came within sight of the home, 
and the wolf was barely able to save himself from the dogs by a clever bit of running. Just then the father came within sight of the home, and the wolf was barely able to save himself from the dogs by a clever bit of running. Moral of the story Don't believe everything you hear. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't believe everything you hear.